Um, when we go shopping with the children, we can uh, help them to count how many bananas or how many potatoes we need to put in the bag. Uh, we can give them things to hold so that they get used to feeling uh, how heavy things uh, feel in their hands, what uh, they can compare a heavy uh, bag with a lighter one. Uh, we can talk about uh, numbers when we are going upstairs, we can count the steps with the children. Uh, we can sing, number rhymes and number songs are a great way to introduce the children to numbers so that they become more familiar with them. Uh, and then we can help the children to predict what number will come next in the song. Uh, when we are in the lift, we can help the children become familiar with the uh, buttons. Um, and help them to lift them up so they can reach the button and say, okay, we're going to the fourth floor, where's the number four? Uh, we can draw, them, draw their attention to numbers in the environment by looking at house numbers, uh, numbers on buses, on the registration plates, on cars, so that numbers and shapes become part of their everyday environment. And in this way, we also develop their skills of observation because they get used to looking for things um, and they become aware of how maths is part of their everyday life, not something which we should associate only with a worksheet or sitting at a table, but something that happens um, from birth and we should help the children become aware of colours, of shapes, of sizes, um, and maths is part of everyday learning that's also connected with other areas of development.